You were always going to watch this video, and for those who didn't, they were never going to. Where is the choice in this? Did I have a true choice to make this video, or was it always going to happen? Free will, it's an idea that we base our entire society around, from our legal and punishment system to our ideas of success and hard work in society. If you asked me a few years ago if I believed in free will, I would have found it a strange question. Where is the question? Of course we have free will. I decide when I want to go on holiday, I decide what I want for lunch or when I take a break. But the more time I spent diving into this question, the more uneasy I felt about the concept of free will. The case against free will appears to be getting stronger year on year with research. And in my opinion, this question around free will seems to be the ultimate thought experiment. As we'll get into, there is no easy definitive answer, but there really is a compelling case for why it is potentially one of the greatest gaps between how we think the world works and how it really does. Today I want to focus on science and not philosophy, because to me, this is the scariest part. In 1983, physiologist Benjamin Labette made a significant discovery regarding the concept of free will. He found that a brain signal known as the readiness potential, which precedes self-initiated actions such as raising a hand or tapping a finger, begins to rise before individuals report being aware of their decision to move. This discovery sparked much debate and discussion about the existence of free will and the extent to which our actions are determined by neural processes. In essence, our brain decides what we are going to do before we actually think of the decision. If you seemingly decide to get off the sofa and go and get a glass of milk, for example, that decision-making process in your brain, according to these studies, has already happened just moments, very, very, very small moments just before you consciously make that decision in your brain. In other words, the decision is prompted from a subconscious or an unconscious process in our mind. Our brains have been found to play tricks on us in various studies. A recent study discovered that individuals are easily deceived into believing they can predict the appearance of dots on a computer screen at a higher rate than chance, when in reality their brains have simply altered the sequence of events without them realising. I'll leave a link to that particular study in the description. And this body of research is only going to continue growing year on year. I truly anticipate the future of neuroscience studies will provide further evidence of unconscious thoughts influencing and determining our conscious actions. However, I don't believe science can ever definitively prove that we don't have free will. At best, it can show us that we don't have as much agency and decision-making uh, ability than we once thought. But for the sake of the argument, let's imagine free will does not exist. It's 100% proven by science and it's indisputable. What happens next? Would it change the way we punish people and treat criminals? If a murderer's actions were predetermined by the events before him and the unconscious processes, could we blame them to the same moral extent that we did before? And that's the key, morality. Take free will out of the equation and it becomes very difficult to leverage the case of morality into justice. Perhaps we would take a more pragmatic approach, trying to understand what went wrong and circumstances that caused this crime to happen, rather than a focus on something being inherently or just simply evil. But well, let's take this a step further. How could this even change our politics? We so often hear the pull yourself up by your bootstraps analogy. And we treat laziness, for example, as a choice. But with free will out of the equation, surely that individual would have always ended up in the situation they are currently in. Now, I can't say for certain whether free will exists or not. I don't believe we have total control over our choices, but I would put forward to you, whether or not it does exist, you probably should live as if free will exists. What do you think? Do you think that free will exists? Or do you think that this concept is a little bit more complicated than we may actually think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, these videos take a lot of time to research and create. So if you enjoyed it, share it with a friend and subscribe for more.